This 10-year-old male Polaronian not noted has a left perineal hernia. How many centimeters? Nine then. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. Perineal hernia. What is perineal hernia? It is the protrusion of the abdominal or pelvic viscal through the pelvic diaphragm which supports the rectal wall. And the pelvic diaphragm controls the entry of the abdominal organs into the pelvic area. Enterist and vaginist happens once pelvic diaphragm is torn due to traumatic injury and constant straining. Benign prostate hyperplasia. First, it's influenced by hormones. Second, it's common in older male dogs. <laughs> Prostatic hyperplasia is commonly developed in older male dogs that are not neutered. And other types of prostatic diseases is first bacterial infections, which is an abscess, second neuroplasia, which is a cancer, and third others which can persist. Now this left lung is left to the inner, so it's the left develop in the hernia. Now this hernia, so the dog can still eat and, and drink and pee yeah. and poo. Yeah. <coughs> so uh, normally the perineal hernia, so the hernia stand. when you push it in, you can go in. Do you ever go in? Yes. Ever yes. go in? Huh? Yeah. But sometimes it's hard to go in because the hole is too big already. So if you want to force it in, you can, but you can feel the stool that is not hard on that. This is probably the stool from, from the rectum. Then a soft one to be just a step. So we've got the tail. So what we do is uh, the surgery is so going to cut open and then push back everything in. The best is cut open but there's a sack. Push a sack in, don't cut the sack. Then when the sack goes in, then push up the muscle. The rectal muscle, the inner muscle here, push up to the side here. Cut and push up the hole. And then uh, in some cases we put a mesh over the peritoneum and then uh, of course cut off the excess skin the extra skin cut off and then uh, it's closed off then about 2 weeks to 4 weeks and then turn the dog of course you can do it at the same time but uh, I'm afraid this old dog uh, is best not to, to do to it at the same time because the surgery will be longer maybe another half an hour longer and anything can happen to the old dog so well, I've checked the old dog already the heart is normal the blood test is normal, so uh, the chances of him surviving this surgery actually is very good. His blood test results indicate that he does not have any bacterial infections. Illustration of a normal prostate and an enlarged prostate. This is an illustration of a benign prostate hyperplasia. Anesthesia using acephlorin gas. In size, I think it's Tips and advices First, neuter your meal dog when he is young. Second, neuter your older meal dog when the condition is like this. <laughs> But 
but the unneutered dogs, huh? the unneutered ones, uh, many of them develop perineal hernia. In conclusion, the older male dogs which are not neutered suffer from prostate diseases. In this case, the Pongan Rian suffered from benign prostate plasia containing cysts.